I'm JC Krupa, and today I want to talk to you about authority. In 1 Samuel chapter 24, we find a story about King Saul and David. Now, in this period of time, David had been on the run because of his uh, rise in popularity in Israel and also due to the fact that God had ordained him to become the next king. And Saul didn't take too kindly to that. So David had been hiding in caves and in the mountains. And one day, Saul took um, a group of about 3,000 men and started to just scour the countryside and look for David. And on one such occasion, they actually came to the place where David was. And while Saul went off to relieve himself, David snuck up behind him and actually cut off a piece of his robe. And so once Saul finished doing that, he began to uh, search uh, and look for David again. And David appeared um, out of hiding and said, Saul, Saul, uh, why are you looking for me? Why are you persecuting me? Why are, we, why are you trying to harm me? And he uh, showed Saul uh, the piece of the robe that he had cut off. And he said, Saul, if I wanted to, I could have harmed you. I really could have killed you. I could have done any uh, number of things to you and, and my men would have seen it as justified. But because I know that you are God's anointed and I have that respect for you, I let you live. But yet you still try to harm me. And once King Saul saw this, he said, David, you are more righteous than I. And he went on his way. Sometimes it can be extremely difficult to respect authority. I mean, I, I look over to uh, uh, the recordings of Paul and his discussions with uh, the Roman emperor that was spearheading the Christian persecution of that day and he had respectful dialogue with that man who was killing his brothers and sisters. And if that's respecting authority or if it's not respecting authority, I don't know what is. Guys, I don't have all the answers. I don't think anyone really does. And I don't think anyone can explain why certain people have power and positions and are elected into certain offices. But God does call us to respect all of them. Now, whether Donald Trump is president or Hillary Clinton is president doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, I will show respect to either one of them because Jesus Christ is the one that I serve. I serve the bright morning star the Lion of Judah, the Great I Am, the First and the Last, the Alpha and Omega, the one who spoke the universe into existence, the one who guides my steps, my righteousness, everything I have, Jesus the Christ. So I don't serve President Trump, I don't serve President Clinton, I don't serve President Johnson or anyone else elected, but I do respect them because ultimately, I serve King Jesus. I'm JC Krupa, President of Gospel of Christ Ministries, and I thank you for watching.